So Charlie, you and the scholars are participating in a uh, dementia charity group that you've taken them on a stadium tour and talked to them. Would you like to explain basically what's happened today and why it's important for you and the boys in the club to be involved in that? Yeah, so at the minute, uh, me and the lads, uh, we're working on three different things at the moment. So obviously we've got this walk and talk with the dementia people. We're also going into the hospitals, I believe, um, to pass out some toys to like not as privileged uh, kids. And then we're also going to a soup kitchen as well um, to give out some food as well. So um, we're all doing this for like, uh, with this, involved with the set, um, just to help out people really and just to give a bit back to the community. As you touched on there, it's giving back to the community and it's, you know, giving your time, albeit away from football. I know you guys are really focused on the season coming up ahead, but how important is this time to take away and sort of put your focus onto something else that's something is more important than football at this stage? Yeah, definitely, because it takes our minds away from the football and like takes the stress off us a little bit, especially with the... Uh, a tough game coming up for us, um, us scholars at the beginning. So, yeah, it definitely takes something off our shoulders a little bit. So, yeah, it's good. And what have you personally and all the rest of the lads learned from this sort of experience with these groups and with these people and working alongside the set? Uh, I think we've just learned like how to be more humble and like how to give give more back to the community really. And it's just all good for us to learn something and like even get to know people that aren't as privileged as us. So, I think it's really good. So JB, before we look ahead to the start of the season, I just want to touch on, obviously I've mentioned it with Charlie Stern and a moment ago, the the events you're doing in, within the Milton Keynes community to help out those that you know, are less fortunate than ourselves. Yeah, no, definitely. It's, it's, it's part of a project that we want the boys to be able to do from a, a social aspect and getting more involved in the community. So I think this, this has been set up by Kelly through the set as well. And I think it's been a, a real good... Uh, opportunity for the boys to learn and experience things away from just football but also how they give back to, to the people with Milton Keynes as well. As you touched on there, the importance of you know connecting with the community and people that may even come to the stadium and watch the uh, MK Dons games but also how important is it and how much of a learning experience is it for, for these boys being exposed to again the wider community and things outside of football? Yeah well we, we've Part of this project is the fact that they've had to do everything. So they've had to organise the groups that they're in. They've had to organise everything from the food, the uh, the catering, through to the staff and who's going to be involved and make sure that everything's sort of from that side. So from a learning experience and life experiences that they've had to, to, to endure during this period of time, um, they've had to do it all themselves. We've been there to guide and facilitate, but they've been there to, to guide it themselves uh, and and get it done as a, as a collective um, in terms of how we've the, the support, we want them to understand that it's the club's part of a wider community anyway. So having that interaction with different people can can bring more people to not just MK, but if it's them progressing on to another club further down the line, having that understanding of why it's so important, I think is going to help them in the long term as well.